Hi and welcome to the session. Today I'll help you with the following question which says a statue 1.46 meter tall stands on the top of a pedestal from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degrees and from the same point the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degrees. Find the height of the pedestal. Use root 3 is equal to 1.73. Now before moving on to the solution, let us recall few points. First of all, for any angle theta, tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. Second, tan of 45 degrees is equal to 1 and tan of 60 degrees is equal to root 3. So in this question, these three points will work as the key idea. Now let's see its solution. First of all, let us make the required figure according to the given question. So here, this is the required figure. This is the pedestal and the statue stands on the top of the pedestal which is 1.46 meters tall. Now, here is the point on the ground, say point P. And from this point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degrees. So that means this angle is 60 degrees and the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degrees. So here this angle is 45 degrees. And we need to find the height of the pedestal. So let us assume that the height of the pedestal be h meters. Now let us name this point as A, this as B and this as C. So here PA is the distance between the point P on the ground and the bottom of the pedestal. So let us assume that the distance PA is x meters. Thus here we have AB as the height of the pedestal which we assumed to be h meters. BC is the height of the statue. Which is given to be 1.46 meters. P is the point on ground. Here angle BPA is the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal which is equal to 45 degrees and angle CPA is the angle of elevation of the top of the statue which is given to be 60 degrees. And lastly we have assumed that the distance PA is equal to x meters. Now the angle between the pedestal and the ground is a right angle. So that means triangle BPA and triangle CPA are both right angled triangles. So first of all consider the right triangle PAB. So in right triangle PAB angle BPA is given to be 45 degrees and we know the tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. So let us take theta as 45 degrees. Thus we have tan 45 degrees is equal to perpendicular that is AB upon base that is PA. Now AB is equal to H and PA is equal to X and we know that tan 45 degrees is 1. So we get 1 is equal to H upon X. So this implies X is equal to H. Now consider the right triangle CPA. So in right triangle CPA 
Here again, angle CPA is given to be 60 degrees and tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So, we have tan 60 degrees is equal to perpendicular CA upon base PA. And here CA is equal to CB plus BA which will be equal to 1.46 plus H upon PA that is X and tan 60 degrees is equal to root 3. So we have root 3 is equal to 1.46 plus H upon X. Now we already got the relation that X is equal to H. So here we will replace X by H. So this implies root 3 is equal to 1.46 plus H upon H. By cross multiplication we get root 3 H is equal to 1.46 plus H. This implies root 3 H minus H will be equal to 1.46. That is taking H as common we will get H into root 3 minus 1 is equal to 1.46. This implies H is equal to 1.46 upon root 3 minus 1. Now root 3 is given to be 1.73. So H will be equal to 1.46 upon 1.73 minus 1. That is 1.46 upon 0 0.73 which is equal to 2. Thus, the height of the pedestal, that is H, is equal to 2 meters. Therefore, height of pedestal is equal to 2 meters. And thus, this is the required answer for this question. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood the question. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.